Does Shilajit really turn you into a testosterone titan? Or is that just clever marketing? I'm Dr. Veena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're gonna be completing our series on testosterone boosters and talking about Shilajit. So how does Shilajit actually impact serum testosterone? First, let's start with a little background. Shilajit is a sticky substance that is found in the rocks in mountain ranges like the Himalayas. And it's been used in traditional medicine practices for centuries, particularly in Ayurvedic medicine. It's theorized to carry the healing powers of these great mountains. But what does modern science say about its effects on testosterone? Now, you might be wondering, how exactly would shilajit boost testosterone? So shilajit contains some components, fulvic acid, dibenzoapyrones, or urolithins, also known as DBPs, and chromoproteins, also known as DCPs. And these are potent antioxidants. And some researchers believe that they may influence testosterone production. However, the exact mechanism isn't fully understood. Now we know antioxidants are crucial for the health of our testicles, and so it's possible that shilajit may support the health of our testosterone producing Leydig cells, or they may even influence the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis, which sends signals to the testicles to make testosterone. But ultimately we need more research to confirm these theories. Other researchers think it might work by reducing oxidative stress and inflammation in the body and ultimately in the testicles, which produce testosterone. Okay, so what is the science? So there was a randomized control trial published in 2016, and it found some promising results. So in this study, they had 96 healthy adult men from India, and they were randomized to receive either placebo, like a fake pill, or shilajit twice a day. They took 250 milligrams of a very specific purified shilajit extract, and they standardized this extract to contain at least 60% of these bioactive antioxidants like fulvic acid. So at least 50% of fulvic acid, 0.3% uh, of DPBs, and at least 10% of DPCs. And so they took this 250 milligrams twice daily for 90 days. And what they found was that total testosterone in these subjects increased by about 20% from 4.84 nanograms per milliliter to 5.83 nanograms per milliliter. And free testosterone increased from 15.36 to 18.3, about 19%, whereas there was no change in the placebo group. Now, before you all get excited and start buying Shilajit, let's look at this study a little bit critically. This is one single study with a small number of participants, only half, so less than 40 got Shilajit. And the study was funded by Natrion, which is the company that sells and makes purified Shilajit. So there's definitely bias, right? And while the results are really interesting, there's been no other studies that I could find on Shilajit's effects on testosterone. So it's important to note that again, the study also only looked at healthy men. So we don't know that if you have other medical problems that your response to Shilajit would be the same. And particularly if you had low testosterone, would it really help you enough to be meaningful? Also, the study only lasted for 90 days. So we don't know what if you take Shilajit for a year or two years, what is the safety and the long-term effects of taking Shilajit beyond this point? Now, in terms of other things, you might see ads promising that Shilajit is going to dramatically boost your muscle mass or turn you into some kind of superhuman. Now, I hate to burst your bubble. There's no magic pill that's going to do that, and there's certainly no scientific evidence to support some of these more exaggerated claims. Now, in terms of safety, Shilajit has been studied and looked at to be safe at doses of 0.2 to 1 gram per kilogram of body weight uh, when used chronically. However, you want to make sure that you are getting specifically purified Shilajit. Raw Shilajit can potentially contain contaminants like heavy metals and free radicals and even fungus. And so because it's coming straight from a mountain, right? Um, and those things might make you sick. In terms of side effects, uh, there have been some reported side effects, include upset stomach, maybe some changes in blood pressure potentially, and allergic reactions. 
Now, as you guys know, I've said this about supplements a lot. There is no regulation in terms of dietary supplements in the United States, which means that they've actually found some shilajit that has been found to be contaminated with heavy metals or even other harmful substances. So make sure that if you decide to try this supplement, that you are getting a purified shilajit supplement from a reputable company. And ideally one that's third party tested for purity and that they share that third party testing on their website. So what's the bottom line? Do I think that Shilajit is a, a go-to supplement for testosterone? Based on the current evidence, it shows some promise for potentially boosting testosterone levels. However, I'm really skeptical of this study because it was funded by a company that's actually standing to benefit from Shilajit sales. So we need more studies to look at long-term safety and determine who's going to benefit from it most. Are people with other medical problems going to actually benefit from Shilajit? So if you're considering it, I think it's safe to try for a short period of time, but generally I wouldn't expect miracles. But before you try any supplements, don't forget the pillars of health, particularly in terms of testosterone, which includes having a good healthy body weight, which includes eating a balanced diet full of unprocessed foods, and also trying to improve your sleep quality and sleep duration, and including resistance training of the large muscles in your body to help boost testosterone naturally and try to limit your exposure to endocrine disrupting chemicals. So drink from glass, warm up food in glass, and do the best you can. They are essentially everywhere in the environment. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you are enjoying this, make sure to check out the full series on testosterone boosters. And as always, we're gonna take care of yourself because you're worth it.